Hello beautiful souls. Let go of the need to please others and be accepted and embrace your authentic self. The Eight of Swords is also a call for liberation. It's time to break free from the limiting beliefs and self-imposed boundaries that have been holding you back. Trust yourself and believe that you have what it takes to achieve your goals. Surround yourself with positivity and people who uplift and support you. Recognize that your journey is your own, and that comparison only leads to self-doubt and misery. Remember that you are not here to be perfect, but to be your true self, and that is what makes you extraordinary. You have your own unique qualities that nobody else has, so celebrate your individuality. Be kind to yourself and focus on your strengths rather than your flaws. As you move forward, remember that you are unique and special, and you don't need anyone's approval to be yourself. Believe in yourself and trust the journey. Break free from self-doubt and comparisons and embrace your authentic self. You are enough just as you are. The next card I draw, the Four of Swords, reminds us that it is okay to slow down and take a break. You have been caught in a pattern of equating validation with productivity, but this is not a healthy way of being. You need to learn to listen to your body and emotions and take care of yourself before it's too late. Give yourself permission to take a step back, rest, and recharge your energy. The third card I draw, the Ten of Swords, represents painful endings and transitions. I sense that you have experienced a significant breakup that was caused by a third party, leaving you feeling scared and anxious. You have been struggling to let go of the past and focus on the present. But, dear seeker, you cannot control what happened in the past, only how you react to it. It is time to be kind and compassionate to yourself and stop comparing yourself to others. Allow yourself to feel all the emotions that come up but don't let them consume you. It's time to heal and move on. The next card, the Six of Cups, represents nostalgia and closure. Your past relationships have left you with closure issues that are still affecting you now. It's time to address these issues and let go of any resentment or bitterness you may be holding on to. Be gentle with yourself and find closure. The final card I draw, the Empress, represents abundance and fertility. This card is a reminder that you deserve to be with someone who accepts you for who you are, flaws and all. In a relationship, you need someone who can give you a safe space to be yourself, someone who can understand your emotions and is open to conversation. But before you can find that person, you need to stop seeking validation from others and start valuing yourself. The universe has abundance in store for you, but first, you must love and accept yourself. From Divine Muscular Type yes, if you believe.